morning, everybody. My name is Zakari Saidu. Uh, I'm an agricultural researcher. Omar is a head of uh, maintenance and tech head of technology, uh, head of uh, information technology at uh, Prime Minister's office. Uh, I'm sorry, really, we, we couldn't present a full project because of the time to get in touch with the mentors. And also, the mentors are not working where we want to, to do our project. This was a very little bit difficult. But now, the mentors are involving all the, the area, involve other groups to come to an area we want to, we want to work. So why, why promoting a small scale digital irrigation system to boost agricultural production in Niger? I think one of the previous presenters, the major challenge for us is how to feed African population. This major, major challenge is for us. That was most of, I think, too, from Ethiopia, from uh, Kenya also, they present uh, strategies to boost agricultural production. Uh, thank you. So, why digital, digital irrigation system? I think because Africa is still using traditional methods of production. So, I think we have to shift from traditional uh, system of production to modernize agriculture to overcome, to produce more for our population. I think that is why we think this year we are, we are in idea levels. Just uh, we, we, we present you the problems and uh, what we want to achieve at this moment. I think Niger, uh, Niger is a vast, a large vast uh, West African control before landmass of 1,268,000 uh, uh, square meter with a total population of 21.5 million in 2017 with the highest birth rate in the world, 3.9 percent in a year. In every 20 years, our population is doubled. <laughs> Uh, with a poverty rate of 45, 44.1%. The problem description is a large portion of Niger population is regularly affected by food and security, especially those in rural areas, which depend solely on agriculture for their lively, livelihood. According to the United States, USAID 2011, about 22% of our population is affected each year by food insecurity. So because we depend solely on rain-fed agriculture, most of the farmers were cultivated using rain-fed agriculture. So despite its importance in ag economy, agriculture is still traditional and largely affected by severe weather conditions. High population growth, which experienced in Niger, continues to increase pressure on limited land resources in the extension of crop production on marginal land unfavorable for agriculture. If you compare food demand and uh, uh, food availability in the countries for, for between 1985 to 2010, only five years that we produce surplus for our population. That means that agriculture cannot produce enough at this moment to, uh, to cope with a, po a high population rate. This, why we, are, uh, why it is, uh, why we, we get increase in our production is through increase in land, in land use. So I think every year, according to some statistics, 80, 70 to 80,000 hectares are occupied by farmers to produce uh, food. So, growth in agricultural production was achieved through increase in land use about 40% between 1970 to 2010. Agricultural production experienced an increase 
of only 2% per year, while pro pro population grew at a stress of 3.9% annually. There is no significant increase in yield. Per capita grand pro uh, production experience, only 0.93% for growth only in 1987 to 2010. That we conclude that agriculture failed to produce enough to cope with population needs, hence regular food insecurity. This is our, uh, we, we state our problem and cause-effect relationship. So low production, what causes low production? Is it difficult access to farming? Some farmers have uh, difficult access to, sometimes they don't have enough money to buy the input, machinery or fertilizer to, to, to supply the crop. Uh, low rainfall, drought, poor investment. So I think most of the Afri African government, they neglect the agriculture sector. They don't invest more because the risky and statistics of the weather. So much of them, they don't invest much. Our soil and fertility, deforestation, flooding. These are all the, the some factors that affect agricultural production. So when there's a low for food production, this means that food insecurity. When there's food insecurity, so you have migration of population. Some of the rural come to the urban. Some of them go to extend, they go to other countries. So. That means also when it is food insecurity, there is a high mortality rate. And when the food insecurity, when the farmer don't have didn't, didn't, didn't produce enough, they don't have enough income. So this will provoke poor health care and child poor health, child education. And also sometimes when they, they, there is a conflict between farmer and the herder, that means animal the people that uh, uh, have animals, rearers. These are the, the problem we are able now to establish a relationship between cause and effect relationship. I will hand over my, the, font, uh, the micro to my colleagues to continue our objectives. What do you want to add? So, uh, hello everybody, I will continue. I'm going uh, to talk about uh, some example of digital irrigation system. So, in Green Genius Digital Irrigation System, we have a mobile application, this is one. In other way, we have drip irrigation system, digital garden water, saving water timer, and uh, we have a, in third time, tele-irrigation. This is some of kind of uh, system that we have in our uh, country. Why digital irrigation? In first point, for optimum water usage. The second, to save you water and time. The third time, the third point, to reduce weed growth for time improve plant growth and the uh, end time preserve soil nut nutrients. If we talk about stakeholder analysis, we have one part of actor direct which are villagers, farmers and the households. Second part we have the this those who decide like the government Ministry of Agriculture, Tree and High Commission, and Farmer Association. In, third, in the third time, those who help the farmers for the success of their uh, agriculture, we have the o N o NGOs, international. We have the, excuse, <laughs> we have private, Players in agribusiness. In the, we have to show you some pictures of uh, traditional irrigation that uh, are doing in uh, our country. In the, in, in the other ways, you see another pictures. And uh, I say thank you for the presentation.